The real estate market is on fire right now. More than 80% of Americans ages 18 to 34 said, now is a bad time to buy a home. And the median price at which houses sold skyrocketed to 1.3 million or 10 times the median income for the area. That was up from 1 million or about eight times the median income in just February. The Bay Area is back on top in having the nation's least affordable homes. I'm Shannon Ellison with the Walker team of Intero, and in this video, we're gonna go over the top seven things every home buyer should know to make the best decisions and tackle today's real estate market head on. Number one, it's a seller's market. If you haven't heard, it's a seller's market. What does this mean? Basically, when demand for homes exceeds inventory, sellers are at an advantage. Homes sell well above the asking price and extremely fast. Number two, be prepared to be flexible. You finally find the home, it checks off all of the boxes, and it even comes with some killer natural light. You can't wait to place your offer, so you call up your realtor to start the process. Then, you find out you've been outbid by hundreds of thousands of dollars. Prepare to have your heart broken a time or two in this market and realize that all seller pricing strategies are not the same. Number three, move fast. Interest rates are on their way up. So if you're considering buying this year, you need to start making moves as soon as possible. The rates are expected to increase as high as 4.5% by the end of the year, and a little market expert insight, rising interest rates do not necessarily contribute to decreasing prices. Number four, find a real estate agent. Nobody should tackle this aggressive real estate market without a qualified and experienced real estate agent. Your real estate agent can be your biggest weapon in terms of negotiating, finding properties before they're listed. So interview multiple agents before settling and don't just write an offer with the first agent that you see or that offers you a kickback for writing with them. That very seldom works, quite honestly. Like many other industries, the top 5% of an industry have the tools, the experience, the savvy, and the ethics to help you truly succeed. Number five, be accommodating. In a seller's market, you are at the seller's mercy. You must be open to accommodating the seller in terms of contingencies, closing date, possible rent back, and more. If you don't wanna play ball, then they're gonna move on to the next interested buyer, and trust me, there's a line of them. Number six, appeal to the seller. It's easy to get caught up and forget that there's actually a human being behind the homes that you're looking at. Understand what the sellers want from their sale and try to appeal to those goals. If a realtor has a relationship with a seller's agent, they might be able to better understand the seller's goals. That's a massive benefit working with the Walker team is our lead Keith Walker has a quarter of a century of real estate experience in this area and relationships create accepted offers. Is it to get the most money for the home? Is it to move quickly? Or do they need a lease back on the property? Tapping into that human side may help you get your offer accepted. Number seven, don't give up. Trust me, I know how frustrating the process can be. After being outbid time after time, you may want to give up, but don't. Yo, Adrian! Adrian! Keep your options open and your hopes high and you will eventually find and win the bid on that home that suits your needs perfectly. I've seen it so many times. One final piece of advice. When's the best time to buy? Just ask yourself this question. Can you afford the mortgage? And are you going to hold on to your home for at least five years? If so, the answer is always right now. Again, I'm Shannon Ellison with the Walker team of Intero, here to educate and navigate, not speculate and fabricate. Reach out to me today to ensure your success.